Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrek.com and today I have the HTC Inspire 4G and the Atrix 4G by Motorola. Uh, this is a head-to-head -head comparison. We're going to see what the stats are, see how the quadrant scores come out, and overall compare the phones tit for tat, if one will. So let's get into it, see how well the phones stack up against each other, and see which phone might be right for you. So here we go. We've got the Inspire 4G on the left and the Atrix 4G on the right. Some of the similarities, we'll push those right out of the way because nobody cares what is similar between the devices, and that is the 4G capability. Um, now, it's not true 4G, 100 megabits per second, but it is theoretical download speeds if you're in an HSPA Plus or HSDPA area. Um, 14.4 megabits per second. Our results have yielded the highest of 2 megabits per second and 0.5 megabits upload. So, both are Android 2.2 devices running their, you know, respective user interfaces. We'll go over that later. Uh, they both have Wi-Fi, uh, B, G, and N support, and they both have micro SD card slots. Uh, both can handle up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, some of the differences you can tell right away is the 4.3 inch LCD display with a screen resolution of 480 by 800 versus the Q. HD display of a resolution of 540 by 960 and it's only a four inch display now even though it's a little smaller it has a higher pixel resolution so thumbs up for higher pixel resolution it can do 1080p video playback so that's even cooler so you um, will you'll see that in the quadrant scores uh, when they do the video testing the differences um, we do have uh, some weight differences of 4.76 ounces versus 5.78, and it has a 930 mAh battery, the Atrix, and the Inspire has a 7, um, a 1230 mAh battery, I apologize. You have one gigabyte of RAM inside the Atrix and 768 megabytes of RAM inside the Inspire, but you only have one gigahertz Snapdragon processor versus the Tegra 2 dual core one gigahertz processor, which is amazingly fast. Everything from internet browsing uh, has seemed better, uh, uploading uh, pictures and tweets and Facebook updates, everything seems seamless, beautiful. Now on the Inspire it's nice, but you can definitely tell that uh, processing things uh, when you take photos, anything to do with the processor on this device, you can see that it's just a little bit slower. It's not bad, it's still a good, quick, amazing device, and that's because of Sense 2.0 by HTC on here. Uh, some of, and you'll see that in our quadrant scores, you have an eight, average score of 1800 versus 2500. I've got them pulled up right here. Let's go ahead and do a quadrant, score, uh, quadrant standard test right now. These are benchmark tests. Uh, here are our last results. Uh, we had 1821 versus 23 or 2523. We'll go ahead and we'll even go back here. Let's we'll see if I can't tap these right at the same time. All right, so here we go, and they're doing their tests. But here's some of the, uh, the video picture resolution I was talking to you about. Look at this one, and then look at the Atrix as it goes around. Look at the brightness and the blues, how much things light up better. See the more realistic colors. That's what you're going to get with a QHD display. So already I'm loving the screen on here. I'm loving the battery life. Uh, we got an expected battery life of 8.8 .8 hours. Here we go. We're all done. We'll upload speed. We'll upload our results. And even in this test, we got a 1845 versus a 2678. Here, we'll try to bring that in there. Can't really see that, can you? Nope, you can't, it's cool. You guys get the point. So obviously you have a much better screen, a much higher battery, a higher screen resolution, you have a faster processor, more RAM, you have 16 gigabytes of internal storage on the Atrix as well versus the four gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, add a 32 gigabyte card on both phones, you have a max total of 36 versus 48 gigs, so you've already got that. You've got the really awesome laptop dock. Now it's very expensive and it's not very practical for all, user, uh, all users, but if you want, Definitely something that, you know, try it out in the store, see all the benefits and the disbenefits, and maybe it is for you. If you're uh, definitely a college student, 
Um, if you're a freshman going in or if you're looking to get a new netbook or something like that, this might definitely be a, a product for you. Um, now both have um, cameras here on the back. We have a five megapixel autofocus camera versus an eight megapixel uh, camera with dual LED flash on both. They both record 720p. However, you do have uh, an update coming for this device so it can do 1080p HD video recording and it does have a biometric fingerprint scanner here on the back for ultimate security of your device where you just have the lock, standard lock screen pattern on here and you also have the lock screen pattern on the Atrix as well. Um, but I do enjoy the camera interface on the HTC more. Uh, it's just a personal preference and so take it as you will. You have more um, editing options and more sending options inside the um, Atrix. Now let's go back to the home screen. Now you do have, like I was saying earlier, you have the Sense 2.0 versus the Moto Blur. Personally, I enjoy Sense way more. Uh, people in the industry that I've talked to enjoy Sense way more. People who sell these devices as well. You know, everyone that I talk to, has said, you know, we really enjoy Sense, you know, 1. Point, and now especially even more 2.0, much better than Moto Blur. Moto Blur is a little clunky. Uh, they, you know, it was, they've been improving it, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there over time, but it's overall, you know, usability, you, it's much more in depth. Uh, you know, HTC Sense, it kind of takes everything over and it's very easy to operate all on your own. You know, you don't have to be phone literate to actually operate it. Moto Blur, yeah, you know, first before you can turn the phone on, you have to set up an account, you have to link your accounts. What if you don't know your accounts and everything, then go back. It's a little more difficult to operate. Sense is a little more fluid. I enjoy Sense more, so in user interface, Inspire has it. But overall, I'm gonna have to claim the Atrix is a much better phone with its dual core, with a larger battery, with a better screen. This is an awesome, awesome device. Check them out today. Check out the reviews online uh, at CellPhoneTrek.com. Again, I'm Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com. Check out our reviews at CellPhoneTrek.com about the Atrix 4G and the Inspire 4G. Atrix, the winner, a great device. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook.com backslash cell phone trek. Like us there and you'll be privy to win free stuff. And you can also ask us questions on there. And if you're shy on Facebook, how about you ask us on Twitter? At cell phone trek is our handle. Uh, there's a link to left or right, somewhere around there. Check in the window, you'll see the links. Follow us there and like us there. And I really appreciate that. And again, thanks for watching and I hope you have yourself a great day.